I've just touched down in Doncaster town so the plan ain't to hang around here I've been here before but I swear I can't remember the place I think I missed all the good spots or I didn't stay here very long the plan is we moved to a place called Sawfort I've been to or I've never been to Sawfort that's where we're heading my man's doing bits with no microphone fair play to him but in the words of Cat Williams uh, uh, what's the what's the fucking thing oh, I, had a, I had a little joke lined up but I'm going to move on from it power across I, I compel you to shut the fuck up there you go that's what I was going to say so what the plan is I am going to try and find someone a Doncaster local who can give me a little interview about the man himself Devo someone who can tell me a few facts they might even be able to tell me the street that he lived on or something people are gonna know ain't they this is his fucking birthplace allegedly my only evidence is I got it off Donny Market for a fucking tenner I think, I think this is Donny Market isn't it do you, do you know much about Devo? Uh, not really I'm trying, to find, yeah, I'm trying to find someone who knows something about the man himself you know what I mean <laughs> Yeah, so this is Donny Market, I think. Do you know of a man called Devo? Oh, I'm no. trying, to, trying to do some journalism, <laughs> trying to find out about a man. Brother, do you know Devo? Yeah, do you know, you're from Doncaster, yeah? Yeah. Do you know Devo? No, it's all good. Can you tell me anything about the man himself, Devo? You know Devo, don't you? He, he was a bit of a celebrity, maybe 10 years ago or something. He's disappeared now. Internet famous, wasn't it? But this is Donny Market, yeah? Yeah. Do you know anyone who sells the Fruit Loop Loom around here? John Block. The Fruit Loop Loom. It's a brand, isn't it? No, I don't think there's anybody around here. Uh, I've been in Doncaster all of two minutes. We've already hit the j -j jackpot, baby. Yeah. Nice little wooden board. and discreet you know you know how we do it yeah I don't want to uh, shaft myself before I've actually managed to get a decent painting done so no more silliness just that one just that one that's what getting it done looks like right there oh that's pretty fucking sick I can only make out who two of them folks are so one of them's Carl Cox on the left pond side and the other one with the green funky hair that's got to be the prodigy dude right there isn't it yeah, pretty fucking sweet, and then you got this Mandela right here, no idea who that is, but... Kiki, Johnny's takeaway, and it's got a picture of a cat. <laughs> it's got to be a piss take that, hasn't it? The fucking cat's block. A bit of fucking sloppy. It's a right fucking mess that is, I will blame it on the wind, it is a bit windy, it is a bit windy. How long do we have left on the camera? 15 minutes, yeah, it's time for a video of that. So, I got to grab me backpack on the way out the door, because I ain't been using it last few times I've gone out painting, I've just been taking a carrier bag. And I thought, I've got a bag, why the fuck do I want to take that? So I whip it up off the floor, and as I do that, I instantly remember why I've not been using it. So. This backpack was cut off me by thieves in Barcelona while I was sleeping on the beach. The filthy beach bandits tried to have my bag away. They did do me dirty, but I caught them halfway through. They didn't get everything. I still kept the bag at least, but yeah, fucking bastards, man. But I was feeding the streets, it's my fault. I was a little bit sleepy sleepy on the beach. Went for a one hour nap, turned into a four hour nap. And those beach bandits, they got me but it's a life lesson i'll be more cautious in future when traveling abroad obviously with a solid moral fucking mindset as mine you don't think that people are out there trying to get you but rest assured they're trying to get you i'm gonna skin up a joint soon anyway just gonna find somewhere off the grid probably get a, a drink or something a little thirsty get a drink go find somewhere off the grid get a smoke on the go Oh yeah, the old point to that was to tell you that the bag had been repaired. See that blue stitch in right there? It's fixed it, mate. Slash that side. They tried to cut that side off and they only got through it. 
Fucking, they must have sliced that many bags that day that the Stanley blade was starting to blunt. But it's just been doubled up and sewed back up. The zip is a bit fucked on this bag though, so I'm gonna have to retire it soon. Dirty van, dirty van. Might get beat for this. Hopefully no one strikes me. I really like writing my name on dirty vans, goddamn. Oh, another dirty van. Oh, no, I'll leave that one. Nah, double, double the dirty van. This, this dirty van, that dirty van. I'm the dirty van man. I've got a greasy finger now also. That's one for the way back right there, the old Jumbo Chinese takeaway. Bad name for Chinese, I must say. I'm about to have me a field day, so board number three and board number two. Board number four, but I won't hit that one, I won't do that. Just come across this little skate park here. Not ideal, like I said, it's got this, this thing in the middle, but I could fit a character on one of them panels. What the fuck am I here, man? I'm in, I'm in a place where you come to the skate park and there's not even graffiti on the ramps, bruv. People have ripped things, but I'm guessing it's been blacked out. Bit windy to paint here. I'm going to carry on a bit further, but if I get stuck and can't find anything, come back here should really drop a tag but seeing as though it's so clean I'm not really gonna but I'll still do it anyway yeah fuck it yeah I'm gonna have some breakfast. so I walk and I walk and I walk and I see no graffiti maybe one bit of scribble and I come through this little back alleyway just uh, I stopped to skin up didn't have no kingies went to the shop got some kingies now I see a one up tag obviously it's not the guys is it but Still, I appreciate the effort. It's windy as fuck everywhere. I'm very tempted to up in the back of that storage truck and skin up, but I'm not gonna do such a thing. Could be detrimental to my health. Find this underpass. Uh, gonna check, make sure it's not leading up to someone's drive or nothing. Well, there's already painting here, actually. Perfect, because it was looking like it was an immaculately clean bridge. CO2, it's okay. So I was watching a video with Ed Matthews in it and he referred to smoking a joint as bunning a blem and they went quite harsh on him in the comment section for that one but I am here in fact bunning said blem it's not a very nice blem I said to the guy yesterday is it good fucking weed said, bro we don't stock shit so you do stock shit because this is shit Yeah, so as you can see, I've gone over some graffiti here and it has already, once upon a time, had some paint on it. So I'm not ruining the fresh brickwork, although this one is a little bit risque. I could face some penalties for this one, but hopefully, no big deal. So we're getting into dangerous territory. That is all the brown I have left. Here's where we're at with it. About to chuck this up around the outside. Not the preferred colour for an outline really, but I don't have anything better out of this selection here. I do like that colour for an outline. And I'm thinking, I was just painting it, it was just whatever I could throw at the wall. But now I look at it, it looks like a uh, Jewish Lewis Ham Hamilton, doesn't it? So, Jewish Hamilton, baby. Yeah. You know, I've never really took it into consideration, but this Montana black, this colour especially, is fucking... I didn't even shake it that much compared to how much I'm shaking this 94. A very drippy paint 94 is. This is coming out immaculately. I think I rocked this Montana black, you know. That's a wrap right there. Jewish Hamilton. I was getting some lovely comments as the people walked past I was. I'll have to remember this spot for future. Um, I would, I should really put a dub next to it, but I've only actually got enough black paint to do one more proper dub piece. So I'm going to try to find somewhere new, you know, get, get a good spread on the uh, area sort of thing. 
yeah, quite like that one. I'm gonna get a picture for the gram, and then I'm out of here. Just stopped to drop a little taggy tag on this this here wooden board. Lovely. And I may as well not even put the spray away for the, uh, the next wooden board that's coming up about 30 yards down the road. Let's get it. Bit of real action for you. Oh, don't run me over now, boy. Don't run me over now. Third board, a bit further down this road. Like, like I said, as again, might as well just keep the can in my hand, ready to go. How are we doing, Chavez? How are we doing? Also, uh, obviously, you know, standard business as well, standard procedure. We, we've got some uh, point pinning Stella on deck. <laughs> In fact, it might be a little bit of a pause until this next wooden board, but I'm just going to let you walk and talk to me because we're getting footage right now. You can even look at me. Oh, that's what it was. It was the uh, Big John's, Papa John's fucking Chinese over the road, wasn't it? I'm a wooden board smasher. I'm here, I'm here to fucking hold Holton Hagen. I will walk. Thank you. Thank you. Like I said, it's been a Rollison Live Street action for you right here. Are we going for the Roller Dollar or the Roller Royce? Heads or tails? Tails. It was heads. And we're going for the Roller Royce. Yeah, mate. That's all. That's all the wooden boards for now. Let's have a look because I'm walking back past it now, and the uh, owner of this said vehicle is sat inside. Does it look like you would have absolutely mashed my head in? Of course. And it's a work van, baby. Scrap iron is that? Shout out Kelly's Curry, Kelly's Curry's, yeah, because you know what I mean. You gotta be brave to eat the. I need to pish, but I'm not gonna pish here. to write something for you bro what's your name P.E.O don't know what it is I don't know what it looks like 
Somebody once told me that my eyes were that squinty that my vision could be blocked out by a strawberry lace. I found that comment insulting but also slightly hilarious. Here I am, my name is Rolla, but if you want to keep it Christian, call me Adam. I'm in the hometown of Devo. Uh, I've done some artwork. I, I dropped up a Jew. A Jew. Jew with a spliff. There's a spliff there, look. And then I see some boys here, look, these two boys. And it says, can you drop us a uh, LC and an MW? And I said, yeah. I can drop you an LC and an MW. I'll do that for you right here, right here. Right now, right about now. <laughs> oh, watch the Stella, watch the Stella boy. <laughs> Write my name, yeah, write my name right here. That's alright, but I don't, I don't want to get you with the fuel. Do you know Devo? I know who? Devo, MC Devo. MC Devo. Yeah, I do know yeah. Devo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course you can, bro. Let me have a go. Yeah, one sec. What's up? Go on, my G. Go on, drop her, drop her up. Mate, you better make it look good. That looks shit already, I know it looks shit. You gypsy boys are, yeah? yeah? I can tell you gypsy boys by the fine hair. By the fine hair. I like a trailer myself, I do. I do like a trailer myself. They're showing me no respect. They don't want my pain, they don't want my compassion. Don't ruin mine, you bastard. Damn, damn, done. Yeah, your boy is real. You that. You I'll call the coppers real quick. Yeah, yeah, you call, call them. You I'm call them. <laughs> 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 Mind you. <laughs> yeah, I'm filming, bro. Filming for We're what? rolling. It's a documentary. Documentary what? Documentary. About the streets. About the streets. Do you know about Devo? Devo. Yes. Devo. Big yeah, Devo. Devo's, my, Devo's my uncle. And that is that people, that's the end of the video. That guy was in fact not fucking Devo's nephew. Right, shout out DP Wilkinson. I got fired from this place for being cheeky to him about uh, Tarpaul. The van is too clean, so I can't write my name on the back. I was going to, but it is too clean. Uh, I suppose, oh, I can write it down here. Oh, sorry, does, sorry, does. So I don't